Tonight on Good Food, Good Wine, Great Sex, we're making pho ba. Yeah. Is it your favorite? everyone, we are making pho bò, my favorite food in Vietnam. When I came over here and it's very hard for me to find a good pho and my husband decided to make it at home for me. Oh my god, I was very excited about that. But after that, it's so sad. It was not so good at the first time. But he tried practicing it and now we have excellent fur and I don't have to worry about it anymore so let me noodle now we have beef bones, beef shank, flank brisket and beef tendon then for her spices we have star anise, cinnamon which is mild not strong black cardamom, black pepper, coriander seed, dry red chili and we're going to toast these and we'll add it to the pho broth later. We're also going to roast a little bit of shallot, carrot, sweet onion, and ginger, of course. Okay, we're going to boil the fat and the impurities off from the bones. I'm going to pop them in some hot water and bring it back up to a boil. There's the tendon. We have also toasted our spices, lightly toasted. And they'll go into a bag added to the broth later. The bones and the tendons are boiling away. As you can see, there's impurities from the bones rising up to the surface. We're going to skim those off. And this is a constant process in, broth, in making pho broth. It is to have a nice clear broth by getting rid of all the extra fat and the impurities. We have our vegetables. We've turned the oven up to 450. We don't have a flame. So we're going to put these on the oven for about 15 minutes on high temperature and give them a little bit of a, a brown. We've got a nice caramelization on the vegetables and the ginger. All right. Transfer the rest of the meat. We'll let this we'll let this simmer on low heat for a couple of hours. Our spices are going in the bag now. I had a small food grade bag, but it broke, so I'm gonna use this. And we're just gonna put it in like so, and close the lid, and that will add some gentle flavors to the broth. Pho broth is ready. Nice golden brown, clear broth. Pretty darn clear. Pretty good for white boy, I think. Tendon, bones. Brisket, shin beef, all cooked, will be cooked, cut into smaller pieces to go in the pho. We need to add a little bit more salt to this. We haven't had much salt. Salt to taste fish sauce. I added some earlier. Needs some more. Wife says it needs more. Give that a stir. Don't add too much salt. You can always add salt to taste if you need it, but I doubt it. There's lots of beautiful fresh flavors. And now it's time for two to show you how to make pho absolutely beautiful. Make it hot. Okay. I will put a noodle in the hot pot like this and leave it there for two or three minutes. And after that, I'll take it out and put it in the bowl. Time to build the pho. The bones. Putting brisket in now. Ok, 
Pa is described as a meal in a bowl, and my wife takes us to the full extent. I think we need bigger bowls. Tonight we are drinking a Cabernet Sauv from Liberty School, and that's in Paso Robles, Northern California. It's a 2018, and looking forward to trying it with pho. Cheers! The things she said to me, as a man I won't repeat, the light of understanding has made me discreet. Soiled with sand and with kisses, I carried her from the river. In the night wind, the swords of irises shivered. Mm. Oh my god. When I heard him reading, and it really made me feel so hot. Hot, yes. Well, we're reading from the Penguin Book of Vice. It's a book I found in the used bookstore for two dollars. And sometimes it's uh, fun just to read sexy things to your lover in bed, and uh, you know, can make more for a passionate evening. Good morning. What do we have here? Much wine has passed with grave discourse of who fucks who and who does worse. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.